Hello everyone, welcome to next Java plus Selenium WebDriver training session tutorial and in this session we are going to go back to basics. I'm going to cover a topic today which has been sort of confusing, perplexing for me and um, I thought I should describe it to others as well because even though it sounds a bit strange at first it begins to make more and more sense when we dive into this topic and the topic is about bounded and unbounded uh, wildcards uh, we would have a look at something called PAX which is the short form of producer extends consumer super we would uh, well talk about generics and uh, if you have forgotten what generics are then I would suggest you to check out my previous Java training video tutorial which I'm going to link uh, on the description of this video then we would we would see what are extents and super and bounded wildcard which goes in the form of question mark extents some type and question mark extent super we would see some of the packs use cases from java 8 especially stream example and we have been using map for transformation of um, elements uh, in selenium tutorials and we would revisit them and see how it applies there so let's get started So I have a new uh, class set up on uh, the project which we use on tutorials known as Back to Basics. I'm going to commit, it to, commit this to GitHub and uh, as always I'm going to link it to the description of the video so you can try it out and you know learn more and better yourself. So let's see what we have in Back to Basics class. Uh, we know one thing uh, about initialization of uh, list elements. Uh, we have seen this for many, many times. So we initialize list, for example, array list like list. We say type of the list element, which is integer here. And then we say new array list, which is a specific implementation of list. And then we specify the type here. I don't really have to specify integer here. I can omit this and Java would infer it. Anyways, uh, I wanted to emphasize that this list contains integer elements and since list is the base type and array list of the specific type we have the base type on the left hand side which is something which we know from polymorphism that we should always refer to the references on the base type and not on the specific type hence we have here integer list as base type as list and not array list integer integer list equal to new array list so there's nothing uh, very new on this um, definition. We have an integer list, which is of type integer, and then we can add elements to this as integer list dot add one and so on. In the similar way, we can define something called double list, which is of type double. And this also is initialized using array list of type double. And if you want to add something to this, we can use the add API and we can say, double list dot add one dot o and whichever double element we want to add to this now from the java api we know that number class is on the top of the hierarchy and then number class is subclassed by various classes for example integer double oh, spelling is wrong float long and big decimal and there are many other classes which subclass number so in the similar way, like creating integer list of type integer and double list of type double, I can also do number list of type number and I can add different numbers to this. So I can do number list dot add one, number list dot add one dot two. Now this is possible here because as I just said, number extends integer, number extends, sorry, not number, uh, integer extends number, that is integer is a number, double extends number, that is double is a number. So what I can do is I can add integer and double to this. So this works very well. Again, this is same as what we learned on polymorphism that uh, a subtype extends base type, which is number extends, sorry, integer extends number. So we are able to add integer and double to the number list. Now, uh, let us see something very strange. And that that is, you know, we can have a base type being initialized by a specific instantiation. For example, I can do number 
n equal to uh, 1 sorry so here number is 1 or number n 2 equal to 1 dot 1 so here number is double not very different than what we saw here so here i have integer which is being assigned to the base type number and here i have double or uh, float i can say which is being assigned to the base type number however what i cannot do is i cannot say a number list can be assigned to an integer list so we have integer here integer list this is of type integer and i cannot assign list of type integer to a list of type number this sounds a bit counterintuitive because i said before that integer is integer is subclass of number and i just assigned here well i removed this but i for example i added here integer to number list and i added double to or float to number list however i'm saying at the same time that i cannot do something like this i cannot say list of number is equal to new array list of integer even though number is super class of integer you know java throws an exception here with both of the lines are more or less same here i have integer list i'm assigning to number list and here i have directly created new array list integer and assigning to number list and when i place mouse over here java says that they are incompatible that is i'm assigning you know i needed a number but what i have done is i have assigned integer to a number list and let us try to understand why this is happening so let's assume that you know there was no error here and everything was fine and if that were the case then we saw before that i can add a subtype to number list so i should have been able to do something like number list dot add one dot o isn't it and then i can also do number list dot add just one so i'm adding number of type integer as well as float to number list but when it comes to reading from the list when i do number list dot get zero i what i would expect here is i would expect here that you know it could give me an integer but it cannot give you an integer because it is of type number so if this statement were right that i could assign an array list of type integer to list of type number then I would be able to add different types of numbers to the number list and while extracting the element I would expect that hmm, going from the type safety which collection provides or generics provide I should be able to extract a number from this list because I added a number and I have assigned an array list of type integer to this number but this is not possible and this is why Java says that an array list of type integer is not same as an array list of type number and this is where type safety is broken we added we can add number we can add double we can add float to the number list but when it comes to extracting the values we cannot say that this is an integer because it would be a number and here we believe that you know since we added we are referring to or we are initializing this using integer we should be able to get the integer back but this is just not possible because i added a float here and i'm trying to get the integer back now what can we do in this situation you know when we have to deal with the super types and we have some collection which can contain various implementation of the super type so what do we do and this is where we have wildcard come into the picture and specifically this is bounded wildcard because we are using a keyword called extends here and to overcome this error what we can write is we can say list question mark extends number which means list anything which extends number and now i can declare it as equal to new array list integer so it is initialized with array list of type integer so this error about compatibility is not there anymore because now what i'm what i'm saying is that this number list is going to contain any type which extends number and well integer is integer is one such type i should be able to use you know any other subtype here as well yeah i can also do double but let's continue with the integer for now um yeah now one thing to note is that even though the assignment error is gone we cannot add anything to this list the reason is the same 
that if I'm allowed to add anything to this list, then I can add number, I can also add double, I can add float, and when it comes to receiving the values uh, from the list, I would not be able to get the integer or the double back, I, I can just get a number back. So even though we are using here wildcard or the bounded wildcard, we cannot modify this list. We can only read from this list. But well, if we can just read from the list and we cannot add any element to this list, then where can we use it? Let us see that. Let us see an example where we are not using bounded wildcard. So let's take our previous list, integer list, which was of type integer. We declared it on the very first line here, list integer equal to new array list integer. And let's add some element to this called one, two, and three. And then we have a method called print integer list and we are printing all of these elements. Well, you may have guessed that print integer list takes a list of type integer elements. So if I highlight this, you see that print integer list takes element elements of type integer and this is how I'm able to print the element or you know we can carry out any other operation which we want. In the similar way if we want to print a double list then well this is our double list which contains obviously list of double elements and then we add some double numbers to this or floating point numbers to this and then we print it using another method called print double list which obviously takes list of type double but if you look closely at these two methods print integer list which takes list of type integer and print double list which takes list of type double they are you know more or less duplicates because they are just printing element the difference being the type of the list which is passed there and this is where we have the advantages of using bounded wildcard what we can do is we can create a new method called print list which takes anything which extends number so this is another method here i have created called print list or right over here print list which takes a list of anything which extends number and then it prints those numbers so if i use this method then i do not have to have two different methods for printing integer and list i can just use one method print list which is going to print integer as well as double for me so you see the advantage of using unbound uh, bounded wildcard with extends keyword it has reduced the amount of duplicate code for us we are using bounded wildcard to carry out operation on different types of elements which extends a specific type here which is well number now this brings the question back that you know as i said before we cannot add anything to to this list because it is not guaranteed to return a specific type it would only return the base type and what if we come across the situation wherein we have to add uh, some some type um, to to list and this is where super comes into the picture so how this works is the syntax is more or less same we have question mark then we have super instead of for extends and then the type so what i have declared here is i have declared anything which is super of integer and how i can initialize it using new array list integer integer is in a sense can be seen as here you know being super class of integer itself and then what other assignment I can do anything which is super class of integer could be used for assignment. For example, I can do new array list number because we know number is super class of integer, or I can also do new array list of object because object is also a super class of integer. Now, when it comes to reading from this list, we cannot say that it is going to contain integer or number because it could be pointing to either integer or number. So, for example, if I do foo1 which is which is the name of the list dot get zero i cannot assign it to integer or i cannot assign it to number because we do not know whether it is pointing to integer or number but we know one thing for sure that it is going to contain some object so if i read it i will get some object but how we started this conversation is we said that what if we want to write to the list and this is the essence of uh, this syntax that we can write to this list and the kind of elements which we can write to this list are well of course they are going to contain integer so we can write integer to this list 
you can also write one more type but i thought of assigning you as a homework that you find out what other type we can write to this list so when we use super type we can add that specific type i have added integer here but we can also add some other type so try to find out what other other type you can add to this and then this is what it is all about packs and the question what arises now is uh, that where do we use which one where do we use extends and where do we use super so the short form or the short answer is that producer extends and consumer super the producer is something which is producing obviously and when we want to read from the list or read from a collection then what we are doing is we are producing and this is where we should use the extend and consumer is when we are adding to the collection or when we are adding to the list then we should use super because we are going to consume the values hence in case when we are reading we should use syntax call extends which is anything extends for example number which we used before and in case we want to modify the element of the list or the collection then we should use super which is list question mark super integer you would see this syntax question mark super some type question mark extend some type throughout many of the apis in java so it's, it's very very important to understand this that why sometimes we have extends and sometimes we have super and as i said before use extends when you are producing as in you are reading from the collection and use super when you are modifying the collection and now if we have another question that what if we want to do both we want to read as well as write and actually we have done this many a times and what we do in this case is when we want to read as well as write we do not use a wildcard character what we use we use the specific type we we just use for example list of integer or list of double and then we can read as well as write to the list and this is the most common use case we have been using now let's see some of its examples from java api uh, in the collections um, class java has a method called copy which obviously is used to copy source collection to destination collection and the syntax goes like this so if i highlight this you see here it's a list which has well it, it's an api which takes two argument or two lists two arguments two list and uh, first list is anything which is super type of something well i have integer here because i declared this as integer and list of anything which extends some types let me go to this definition that would be easier yeah so it's right over here copy list anything which is super type of t which is destination here and anything which whoa anything which uh, oh <laughs> going crazy yeah anything which uh, extends t which is the source type now what we are what this api does is it takes the elements from the source and copies them to the destination and we saw before from packs producer extends consumer super producer extends so when we want to read from a collection then we should use extends because it's a producer it extends and this is why we have extends here and consumer super as in when we want to modify the element of list then we should use super and destination is the new collection list which is going to contain the element of the source and since we are going to modify the element of the destination we have super being used here let us see some of its examples so for example what we can do is we can copy integer element or integer or list of type integer to list of type number this works well we can also copy a list of type double to list of type numbers because well double extends number we can also copy number to number but what we cannot do is vice versa for example we cannot do copy list of numbers to list of integer for very obvious reason that list of number may contain integers may also contain double and if we are copying double list of type double to list of type integer then it violates the type safety because well list of type integer should only contain integer and not double isn't it so let me repeat again that when you want to modify something on a collection that means you want to consume the values then use super and when you want to read from the collection then use 
extends. Once again, PAX is producer extends and consumer super. Ah, okay, this was all we had in this class. Let's see uh, some Java 8 examples. Yes, let's see Stream API. We used Stream many times and we use one specific API time and again for each. We had created lots of collections, specifically list, and then we were doing list dot for each, and then we were printing values or we were, you know, applying some other uh, mechanism on it. Um, and what for each does, we saw for each takes consumer, which is a functional interface, which means it is going to have one abstract method, which is accept here. So it takes here one argument, doesn't have any return type. So what it does is it takes this argument and performs the or applies the given function on this argument. But the point to note here is the syntax of for each, which takes consumer and consumer has question mark super t. And we know from PAX that consumer should go with super, as in if you want to modify the if you want to modify the elements in the list, then we should go with super. And this is why we have super here because we are going to carry out some operation on the elements of uh, this list. And the operation could be as simple as just printing the list elements. I had another example, uh, which is map. We used map very often, for example, from Selenium with Java 8 session, session 6. So let's go to this class. And we had a map operation here. Uh, what we were doing is we were receiving all of the link elements okay by the way if you're new to selenium new to java 8 then please don't start here i'm going to list uh, my previous training sessions also in the description of the video so please start there so what we get here is we were getting the link uh, as in the, we were getting the list of web elements using get all links then we would create a stream and then we were mapping this in applying a specific function on this and the function was to convert the string values uh, which you know which we get from the get text api on the web element to the lower case now let us see the syntax of map we had never delved into the specific syntax we said that okay map takes function function is a functional interface which has an apply method it applies the given function on the function argument t and returns r but what is the syntax of map itself map takes function but it takes function in a specific format so the, the format here is question mark super t and question mark extend r and we know that uh, producer extends so when we are applying the function on the argument t then we want to retrieve some value out of this isn't it this is why we have got extends here and if i go back to the map definition which we have on the class here now Let's, let's read it through. It says public abstract R stream, which is some what map does is map is going to return us a stream of type R. Well, we know here, here it is string because we are converting the element, the text value of the element to the lower case. So we get the stream of type string. And the map function in comparison to what we see here is we don't know the specific types on the API itself, but when we invoke this, we know which type of uh, elements are going to be passed there. So here, what it does is it takes super on element and it extends a string. And now let's let's try to remember, let's recall what we learned on the PAX. So PAX was producer extends and consumer super. So here, whatever web elements we have got we are trying to create a new stream out of these web elements or to be more precise out of the text which we get from the web elements and then we create a new stream so it, it means we are creating a new collection by adding values to this collection which are the lowercase values of the given web element and we know that from PAX consumer should go with the super so when we are you know when we are adding value to the stream which is 
we are consuming those values then we should go with super here and then from the packs also we know that producer extends which means that the return value from the map is uh, going to be stream of string objects and this is why since it is going to return us uh, a stream which we should be able to read because we want to carry out further intermediary operation on this uh, this should use extends i'm not sure if i uh, if i mentioned something wrong earlier uh, but le let me repeat it once again so we have function which is having super of element and extend of a string and we know from packs that producer extends and the producer here is a string of a stream which is why we have extends a string because we would get this stream and then we should be able to read from this stream and this is why we have extends string from producer extends and from consumer super we know that we should be able to you know add values uh, to the collection and this is why we have super web element here because what we would do is we would carry out the function on the element values here which are which is actually just getting the text of the element and then we are going to dump all of these values to the return the stream which is why we have got super web element here it sounds a bit complicated but if you read the api and understand packs very well then it, it would not be difficult to understand just remember that whenever you want to add values to a collection then it's a it's a consumer so i should go with super and whenever you want to retrieve values from a collection then you want to produce something so it should go with extends so producer extends consumer super what else actually this is all i did i don't have any uh, program to run in this session because i have just made use of what we did earlier and loss of theory so i will commit all of this and you would have access to this from my github account uh, and if you find this session useful then please hit the like button and if you have any doubt then please drop a note and i will answer that's about it uh, for this session um, take care bye bye